Rays hosting the Guardians, and the Guardians are plus 118 on the money line. The Rays are minus 138. The over-under is eight runs. The Guardians getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 178, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Rays laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 146, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two runs or more. Weather will not be a factor in this game because of the dome. And I believe the game just went final where the Rays beat the Yankees 5-4 to four and the Yankees strand runners on first and third in the ninth. Not that that has anything to do with this game, but just fun fact. Carrasco did not pitch against the Rays last year or this year. Bradley pitched once against Cleveland. Five innings, two runs, one earned. They won 6-2. That was in Cleveland, and he struck out seven batters in that game. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 8-2. Cleveland is 7-3. The favorite is 5-5 five five on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 9-1. There have been eight one-run games in their last 10 games against each other. The under eight is five, four, and one. The over under about 15 minutes ago was seven and a half. And if you happen to get it at seven and a half, the over under was five and five. Now, as far as the pitchers are concerned, Cleveland is three and two in Carrasco's last five starts. The under is three and two in those starts, but the over has hit in his last two. Five and a third innings pitched, 5.2 hits, 2.8 earned runs, 4.6 strikeouts, 1.2 walks per game. He's given up a home run per game in his last five starts, although he's given up a, one home run in his last four consecutive starts. He gave up two in one game, which is the average of one in his last five. 81.4 pitches per game and 15.3 pitches per inning. And for the Rays, for whatever the hell the reason is, they haven't confirmed Bradley yet. And I'm saying this in all these videos with the All-Star game coming up. Keep an eye, especially on the pitchers. And if you like a team because of the pitcher, make sure that you bet the pitcher. So if he doesn't pitch, you don't lose your ticket. In his last 10 starts, uh, Bradley is averaging five and a third innings pitched, seven strikeouts, 16.6 outs recorded, 4.3 hits, two walks, 2.4 runs, 2.1 of which were earned, one home run, 92.1 pitches, and 17.1 pitches per inning, and he hasn't allowed a home run in his last two starts. Cleveland is, dun, 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 when this thing wants to load, on a two-game losing streak, they're one and three in their last four. One run, 17 runs, nine runs, and then 11 runs. Shut out in a loss, nine runs in a win, four runs in a loss, one run in a loss, and for the Rays, they are two and two in their last four. 15 runs, 8 runs, 3 runs, and then 9 runs in the game today that they beat the Yankees. Uh, 2 runs and a loss, 5 runs and a win, 1 run and a loss, and then 5 runs in the win today. I'm going to take the Rays with the money line. I will take Cleveland getting the runs, and I will go under. I'm just imagining that 8 games out of 10 were 1 run games. This is probably going to be another one. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.